Hey guys, Coach Don here with the Matt Chat. Uh, this time we're talking about uh, the foundations of the culture of modern martial arts and family fitness and uh, the values that um, we believe are important to a jiu-jitsu student um, on and off the mats. First, let's talk about what values are. Uh, values are things that you believe are important. They apply to the way we live and how we deal with people and situations around us. Uh, they are also reflected in the way we think about ourselves and uh, even other people. Uh, they also shape the way we think about how we rank things in our lives. The values that we emphasize here are things that we believe really complement what we're really teaching uh, regarding protection of yourself and others. Uh, I have to be honest, uh, these values uh, that we uh, espouse here are strongly tied to the traditional values of my own family and within our own MMA FFC family, these values are so important, they're even represented in our logo. Now, we'll get to, to that in a moment. Before we do, let's talk about what the actual values we're talking about are. First, there's respect. Second, optimism. Third, charity. And fourth, kindness. Now let's talk about how they're represented in our emblem. Uh, when you look at the sunburst, that is sort of the heart of our school logo, uh, you'll see eight major rays coming out from the center. Now if we focus um, just on the rays that are more or less the uh, compass points, you see one going straight up, one going straight down, and then uh, two going straight out from either side in opposite directions. So uh, we took our four core values, respect, optimism, charity, and kindness, and made up a word with the first letter of each of those. Uh, so R-O-C-K, rock. Now we assigned each of those letters one of the rays. So if you go around the sunburst in a clockwise direction, we see the R at the top, uh, O kind of down and to the right, and then when we come around to the bottom is C, and then coming back up to the left is K, R-O-C-K, rock. So each time you look at our sunburst, you can be reminded of the things that we think are important, uh, both on the mat and off the mat, uh, and they kind of coincide with your jujitsu training. With that, now we can talk about what each of those values mean specifically. Let's take a look at respect. One way to think about respect is liking somebody for being really good at something. Of course, here we kind of think about jujitsu, uh, but it could be anything really. Um, they might be really good at other things like uh, um, sports. Um, they might get really good grades in school. Uh, they might be really good at their job. They may be able to build things, uh, fix things. Uh, they might play a musical instrument, or, or maybe they're really a good singer. Um, so those are things that people can do that you respect them for. But then there's also things that they have done, things that they've achieved that make, uh, make us respect them. So maybe they've won a jiu-jitsu tournament or an award at school. Um, lots of things that people can do that might make you respect them. Um, but you can also have respect for someone just because of the kind of person they are. Um, maybe it's because of the way they make you feel or uh, the way they treat others or you know just how they live their own lives. Respect has another side too. It's also about paying attention um, to how other people feel, uh, treating them you know the way they would like to be treated and understanding what they want. Respect is also understanding how um, they were raised you know, what's their background? Uh, everybody has a different family situation. Um, people have different belief systems, different religions. Uh, they have different ways of looking at the world. Uh, there are even different ways that uh, two people could look at the same problem. Uh, we have to understand that about each other. Just because someone um, thinks differently than, than you uh, doesn't mean that they're wrong. Respect means accepting that not everyone thinks the same way. Now let's talk about optimism. 
Optimism is often described as hopefulness about being uh, hopeful about the future and uh, that we're going to be okay. Optimism is about being uh, hopeful that something that you're working on is going to turn out okay and that you're going to be able to um, make it go the way you want to. Optimism is important uh, because it gives us the strength to keep going even when things are hard. Uh, so one thing about optimism we need to remember is that optimism often gives people the ability to think more creatively and solve problems when they arise. Uh, optimistic people are also uh, more able to overcome difficulties in their lives. And um, in another Matt chat, we'll take a look at uh, how you can keep your optimism and, and build on it. Now let's talk about the value of charity. Charity is voluntarily giving. And when we talk about charity, most people think about money. Uh, there are other things you can offer. Uh, gifts that you can give that would be um, valuable to others. There are physical things, of course, things we can touch, clothing, uh, extra items from around your house. Um, you can give food. You know, people have even given cars as a charitable donation, um, even sometimes houses, right? So <clears throat> those are physical things that we can think about. But that's not the only thing that you have that you can give. Um, what about your own time, your effort, your energy? Um, all of those things that you possess, those could be given to other people and they would value those just as they would anything physical or monetary. That brings us to kindness. Uh, kindness shows up in all kinds of ways in our own lives. It can simply be an act of being friendly and by showing others that we're thinking of them and that um, they matter. Sharing with others is also a way to show that we are kind. You know, as a uh, martial arts student for most of my life, it has always amazed me that the most skilled people I have known are really also uh, some of the nicest. Um, of course, they can protect themselves or those around them and are really skilled and capable um, and able to use those things in real life if needed. Uh, but they're also people that you can respect for just being kind to others. And there's a lot of talk right now about bullying and um, what can be done to stop it. You know, kindness can be part of that solution. And the bully may just be acting out for attention. And the kindness that we show to others may be all that's needed to make someone feel like they belong. So there you have it. Respect, optimism, charity, and kindness, R-O-C-K. Uh, these are the values that we at MMAFFC believe to be an important part of what we're trying to build here in our school. And uh, I really appreciate you taking the time today to take a look at this uh, Matt chat. And I hope it helps you understand uh, what it is we're trying to accomplish here. Until next time, we'll see you in the mats.